Hey guys, Blind Manager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 3. Now, I hate to do this so early in a video, but uh, I'm going to have to cut. Because the last time we left off, we were about to go and farm money for gear. So, I will see you guys in a bit. Alright, here we have a new enemy, the Caterpillar. This guy reminds me a lot of Caterpie from Pokemon, but uh, of course we all know Dragon Quest predates Pokemon by over a decade. Anyways, they're, they're definitely more stout than the enemies we've been fighting to this point, but they're not really too tough. A couple attacks and they'll go down. Uh, they will cast Increase if you let them stick around, so we should definitely consider taking them out quickly when they're in a group with other enemies. But all in all, they're not too bad. And Sarah reaches level 10. Some nice stat increases there. Alright, here we've got a new enemy, the Batman. And no, he's not Bruce Wayne in disguise. Now, this is a special enemy here because they only appear at night. Um, the All Mirages that we've already fought also only appear at night, I believe. Anyways, there's several enemies that only appear at night. I think there's some that only appear during the day, too. So that's one of the interesting things with the night and day feature in this game. Anyways, these guys are very easy. Uh, they will try to stop your spells, but... You know, they're... They're not too strong. I mean, yeah, they're stronger than the stuff we've been fighting before this point, but... Again, they're not a big threat. These are one of the enemies that you could leave hanging around in a battle if you're fighting them with other enemies. Alright, here's a new enemy and one of the mainstays to the Dragon Quest series, the Rogue Knight. This guy's pretty beefy and his attack is pretty devastating. His defense is pretty high too and yeah, he can call heal slimes to help him out. You definitely want to take out the heal slimes that he calls as soon as you possibly can. Or else they will make for a very long and aggravating battle. Alright, here we've got the Venom Toad. These guys are a lot like the Frog Gores, except they can poison you with their regular attack. Definitely want to take them out quickly. They're not really any stronger than the Frog Gores, though, so they're not too bad with actually killing and their attacks aren't that strong really the only thing about them is that they can poison you alright Katie reached level 10 decent stat increases alright Aerie reached level 11 Got some nice stat increases with that level. Nice. And we're back. Now, I went ahead and put all the antidotes and medical herbs into the bag along with my Pachisi ticket, all my books, the map, and my small medals. And I passed up buying some of the equipment here because we are literally walking a little bit north and coming to another town with better equipment. I would suggest getting an iron spear for your hero and your priest if you have one. I wouldn't suggest buying any bronze shields. And yeah, buy some chainmail for your priest. Now, in the next town there will be a better weapon for our thief and our uh, jester and some better armor for our hero and a better shield for all four of them now if you if you're playing the NES version there will be a better weapon in this town for the hero and I was just buying that it'll be the broadsword however it's not present in either town in this version anyways we are ready to move on we are heading towards the champagne tower where the thief Kandar is at 
who stole the golden crown from the king here. And we are going to work on getting that back. And I guess this battle is making a liar out of me. Apparently all mirages do not only appear at night. I thought they did. So it was the only time I was encountering them before. Anyways, I definitely suggest putting all of your antidote herbs in your uh, bag because you will never use them in battle if you are smart because poison does not affect you in battle. Now if you're on the NES version there is no bag so you really don't have a choice there. Anyways, we are about to enter something that is not in the NES version. This little shrine here. Which is actually a Pachisi board. Ah! Again I failed! But I won't give up. Someday I'll finish this. Okay, people apparently fall from the ceiling in Pachisi. Look, there's an opening up there in the ceiling. I wonder what's up there. Well, I've got one ticket, so I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys how it works. Make sure I've talked to everyone first. Now, this is pretty much the game board. As you can see, it looks like a Monopoly board or something. And there's a goal at the end. You know, each square can have different things happen on it. And when you play the game, you're given a certain number of dice to roll. And you need to get to the goal square in that amount of time or else you will uh, lose the game and fall through the floor. Anyways, welcome! One game of Pachisi will be one ticket. Would you like to try it? Yes! Then please give me your ticket. You'll be given ten turns to complete this board. Good luck. Alright, now only one character goes. And you got this menu here. You can, uh, freely look at the map, you can view the stats of your character, and roll the dice. Alright, I can move three spaces forward. And if you land on a field or a forest or something, you'll probably have a battle to fight. Three more. Alright, now I get to choose which direction I want to go. So I'm going to look at the map and see which way is more desirable. Now that thing that looks like a trapdoor there is just that, a trapdoor. And the treasure chests actually have unique items. If you land on them, you will get a treasure. If you land on that same spot again in a later game, you will get nothing from it. Or you might get like a worthless item. Anyways, I think I'm going to go this way. If you examine the current panel, you could find items, you might end up in a battle, it could even be a pitfall. I'm not going to examine it, just because I don't want to take the chance that it'll be a pitfall. Oh, That sucks. Oh well. And that is Pachisi. I don't believe I have another ticket, so I guess I'll have to try this board another time. Anyways, we will continue onward. Great! A bunch of enemies that I don't want to fight all together in one big group. Just lovely. that went down relatively painlessly. Alright, onward to this to another battle. Alright, we got a new enemy, killer bees. They're not really any stronger than the wasps. I mean, their attack hits a little harder, but they still go down just as fast. 
nice for experience and money. Welcome to the small mountain village of Kazave. If you go west from this village, you will come across the Tower of Champagne. Even a very weak magician can bring down a monster by hitting a vital point with a poison dagger. Long ago, they used to sell them at the item store. There's a world-famous fighter buried in the town cemetery. They say he defeated a grizzly bear with his bare hands. I hope I can be like that someday. There's a staircase back there. You can see it in the NES version, but for whatever reason, you can't see it in this version. If you want to meet with Mama and Papa, they'll be back in the evening. Yes, this town displays a one of the features of the night and day system quite prominently. You know, most towns, they'll just shut down the stores and stuff at night. In this town, a lot of things change at night. Because the villagers made the elves angry, the whole village was put to sleep. It's pretty difficult to believe this, but apparently there's an entire village that sleeps somewhere in this world. This is the local diner. Relax and make yourselves at home while you enjoy a good meal. The item shop. Alright, we got the guy's boxers. Ah, don't come in here. Let's see if you got anything I need. Uh, you can get the rabbit's foot if you want more luck, but uh, honestly, luck is kind of a pointless stat. Now there is the wooden helmet. I would suggest getting that for the characters that don't already have it. Although that fur hood that I just got might be better than something else. I'll let you guys know in a little bit here. All right, another Pachisi ticket. I guess I'll hit up round two on the way back. I come in pursuit of Kendar, but apparently he has fled to a tower somewhere. And the weapon shop. Alright. Now, if you got a martial artist, or fighter, or whatever they call him in this game, definitely get Iron Claws for him. That'll be the first weapon you can get for him, and the only weapon for a while, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the chain whip you want to get for the thief and the jester. Iron Armor, you definitely want to pick some up for your hero, or if you have a soldier. Uh, you'll want to get the fighting suit if you have a martial artist, or fighter, whatever they're called. And a scale shield for everyone. In the NES version, this item is an iron shield, and only your hero and I think the soldier can use them. Anyways, I need to cut to farm up the money for this stuff, so see you guys in a bit. Alright, here we have a new enemy, the Dead Hound. Uh, he's not too threatening, he will lower your agility though. And we've seen Trick Moths before. Alright, here we have a new enemy, the Army Crab. These guys have a really tough defense, and I believe they can call for help, but they're not too difficult to deal with. Not too bad, all in all. And Sarah reaches level 11. Alright, since it's night time, I wanted to show off a few differences here. First one's over here. This guy's asleep. And there's a skeleton here. When I was alive, I used to be a great fighter. They say that I defeated a grizzly with my bare hands. But the truth is, I was using iron claws. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, nothing important, really. And like I said, the shops are closed down. Damn you, Kandar! You won't fool me again! I'm talking in his sleep. And now here's something important you can actually do. While the shopkeeper is asleep, you can actually open the treasure chest. And get the poison dagger and... a club. 
And I believe the thief can make use of the poison dagger. Actually, it makes her uh, attack go down. But I believe it does poison the enemies. It's up to you if you want to use it or not. I'm not going to. And of course, this guy's shut down the uh, bar there. And this guy's parents are back. It's rumored that the elves live hidden in the forest west of No Annuals. Please stop that. My husband might see you. Oh, uh, I must have dozed off. Tent. Anyways, that's all I wanted to show off. Cutting again. Alright, Katie reached level 11. Nice hit points, nice stats all around. And we learned the ever useful sap spell and finally learned antidote. So we no longer have to stock up on antidote herbs. Alright, Joshua reached level 10. Kind of a crappy stat gain. Alright, Airy reached level 12. Got some nice increases there. Alright, Sarah reached level 12. Nice hit points and magic points. You know what? Nice stats all around. That was a good level up there. Alright, Katie reached level 12. Nice stat increases all around. And she learned Gale. Which I guess I'll show off in the next fight like I do with every spell. Alright, it says it's a ripping tornado. So I guess that means it deals damage. Alright, we'll see. Eh. I'm not one to use damaging spells with a priest, so I'm, I can't say I'm really a big fan of that spell, but I guess it could help you out in a pinch or something. Anyways, and we're back. Alright, now this is my revised equipment list. I gave the hero, the iron spear, and the iron armor, and a scale shield. I gave Aerie a chain whip, and yeah, I gave her that hard heart that I found in Romali. I gave her a uh, scale shield as well as the fur hood that I found in Kazave. I gave Katie the iron spear and a scale shield, and I gave Sarah a chain whip and scale shield. Anyways, on the next episode we will head out towards the Tower of Champagne to track down the thief Kandar and get back the golden crown. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell your friends about it, and I will see you guys later.